Hey there, fashion friends. Today, we are reviewing a brand called Mott and Bow. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. I am actually going to start doing my uh, denim reviews or my reviews in general uh, a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to start doing a little score system, you know, getting getting technical over here. As of now, I'm really only reviewing things that I, I personally know I like already or know that I have good quality, but um, I would like to be able to give people a tangible scale of where they kind of fall on the quality spectrum. Monbo specializes in premium denim. Premium denim made at a fair price. Because of them owning the manufacturing, Monbo is basically really able to keep tabs on the production process really helps the price cut. So you're just cutting out that middleman and not having to have that massive markup. You know I love me some quality at a fair price. The thing that I love about this brand that I think differentiates them from other denim brands is that they have the home try-on program. So it's basically just a, how it sounds. When you order a pair of jeans, you can obviously order your size and maybe then also uh, pick a size up or a size down to really make sure that you're getting the best fit. And then once you receive the jeans and try the jeans on, and then you send the uh, size that didn't work for you back. So it's awesome because I can't tell you how many times I've ordered a pair of jeans online and then they end up being too small or too big and then you have to send them back. It's just a great little uh, great little tool to have as an online shopper. I was lucky enough to get some items gifted to me from Mountain Bow to be able to do this review today. Thank you very much to them. So going forward, along with my fit, fabric, and function, I'm going to score basically each category on a scale of one to 10. And then at the end, so you've got to stick, stick with it all the way to the end to see what the final score is. 10 being an absolute best, one being, being, being good. I'm not gonna bring worst items on here. So with that, let's get started. the Mom Jean in Ridge, which is like a medium blue wash. These jeans retail for $118, which is a great price for premium denim. So for each of the three review categories, I'm also going to style a different Mott & Bow top for. So you can kind of get an idea of their tops as well as their denim. Okay, so let's start with fit. This is a mom jean fit. This is a 10.25 rise with a 26 inseam. So these were true to size. I did get my size of a 26. And they were a little bit snug, but did break in a bit. That's how I wanted them to fit. If you wanted them to be a little bit looser fitting, I would say obviously go a size up. I really liked the fit in the waist and the hips. It fit real nice and snug. The pocket size and placement was great because it really elongated the booty in a really nice flattering way. A lot of times mom jeans look real awkward on me. I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's in my head, but a lot of times, yeah, they look awkward, but I loved these. So I did score these at an eight. I basically docked two points because I don't really feel like there's anything new to the fit. They just, they were a great pair of jeans. They classic, flattering, but nothing that really separated their fit. So for the fit, I am styling the classic crew Sarah t-shirt. This retails for $34 and it is 100% cotton. The cotton is just so soft. It's just lusciously soft. The way it drapes is just a perfect combination of thickness, but with just like a slight drape on the body. So you have that classic fit, but also very flattering. Okay, so fabric, 94% cotton, 5% polyester, and 1% elastane. So, yeah, not my favorite combination. This is a 12.4 ounce weighted denim with 23% elasticity. The wash is an old rose indigo. Ooh, 
How does that sound? It sounds lovely. First reactions to the fabric, I would say, again, like it, the denim itself felt a little bit thin. It definitely has a really nice structure to it. I think for me, when it gets too much elasticity in there, I just, I'm not a massive fan. I've, I've mentioned this before in past videos, like I get why it's there. Um, I think a lot of people like that elasticity. They added the stretch for the comfort and for the fit. So I totally get that. And I totally feel that. It definitely is very comfortable and is super flattering. But I did actually score this at a six because there is no real sustainable initiatives that I've seen. The fact that they are creating a premium quality uh, piece of clothing which will sustain over time. I think that those are great things. Speaking to the actual production of the fabric and the jeans themselves, there isn't any real sustainable initiatives that I've seen. So for that, I'm giving it a score of six. And what I'm styling with the fabric is the long sleeve V-neck t-shirt called Marcy. This is 50% Pima cotton and 50% modal and oh girl, huh. If it was possible to make out with a fabric, this one would be it. Uh, yeah. It's just so soft and just so lusciously drapey and just the way it cl effortlessly clings, but at the same time, not clinging to your trouble areas, just clinging to the right spots. If you could wear this on its own, but as well as it could easily be a great layering piece. Okay, and then function. When I talk about function for jeans, I'm really speaking to just the way that they can be styled. You can style casually and you can style them a little bit more dressy, any sort of top, whether it's button ups, crop t-shirts, normal t-shirts, sweaters. There's not anything that will really conflict with what you would choose to style with it. So I really do feel like there's a lot of uh, opportunity for endless styling. I love the inseam where it hits because it really opens up the opportunity for shoes. Looks good with high tops, looks good with boots, looks good with heels, looks good with sandals, looks good with sneakers. I did score this at an eight, however, um, just, just for the little bit of mark that it missed on just elevation. Like I couldn't really put my finger on anything um, that was really, really elevated about the function. The actual style itself is just, it is very timeless. There's no twist to the timelessness. And then what I am styling with the function category is the light ribbed cotton cashmere crew called Emma. Uh, this is color Citron, Citron, Citron. Um, I, as you know, am not a color person. Um, yeah, I would say for the most part, I stay away from color, but this color just pulled me right in. Like I saw this color and I'm like, yes, that is green done right. It's like a muted fluorescent green. Like what is there not to love about that? So this is actually 85% cotton and 15% cashmere. <sighs> love. And again, just like the other ones, the actual just softness of it is just Ugh, it's just lovely. So looking at their description, it says medium tension to maintain slope. I'm not exactly what, sure what they mean by slope, but I think I get what they're, I think I get what they're trying to say. Basically just like a medium tension to give you that um, fitted, but not too tight feel, if that makes sense. So love this because it's a very classic silhouette, but super flattering and elongating with the vertical ribbing. So this is definitely one of my new favorite pieces in my closet for the spring. All right, folks, there we have it. Motten Bow Denim Review. The final tally for the best denim score is seven. Being that um, my scale is from one to 10, one being good, 10 being best. So seven, great score for this. Uh, again, just all around great pair of go-to jeans to have in your closet because they're quality, timeless, flattering, and at a great 
great price point. So if you did like these jeans, if you liked any of these tops, it does help me out if you click those links, if you go through those links to order your stuff. But with that, I hope that this episode was helpful. Maybe it's just helping you identify good quality um, in other pairs of jeans. So either way, I hope I've helped you with this episode. If you did like today's episode, make sure to do my little checklist, comment below, give me that thumbs up, share with friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes. All right, you have a healthy and safe rest of your day, and we will be chatting soon. Bye!